Hey everyone, uh, welcome to this video about uh, painting. So uh, yeah, welcome to this uh, this video. And if you have any questions, drop them in the comments and uh, you can always uh, help me by subscribing. And in this video, I'm going to show the basics of how I, uh, I paint. So and painting is really good uh, for making game characters or concept art. Um, so let's head over to my screen. So let's share uh, this screen and let's do it there. So here we see this uh, turtle I already uh, painted. So what I usually start with is yeah, just this uh, this uh, this sketch. And what I do is make a new layer, and then sometimes with a lesser tool, uh, for example, uh, the the tools are here. So you're your toolbar. And I'm using Adobe Photoshop. Um, you can also use Procreate. These have all basically the same tools on only different positions. So uh, I use the lesser tool, this, this one. And a lot of times I just make selections like this. Let's do this for this, uh, this head. So here. And um, when you press Alt, you can do this. And then you can also draw. So now I'm dragging it. So try to use the lesser tool, the, the round one. And then try to draw. And then try to see what happens when you press uh, Alt. So let's uh, finish this one. Like this. And we've made the selection. We here take away this part. And uh, let's fill this with a color. So let me explain a little bit about, uh, about color. So if we uh, see in the top right corner, I hope you can see my uh, cursor, you see this circle. This is, uh, these are the U. So here are all the colors, basically here, this slider. You can change the sliders by in your colors uh, here. And I use a uh, color view. You also have these ones. But uh, yeah, I like to use these uh, HSB. So the H is for you, for the colors. And then you can pick the saturation, really bright of a really strong color or really weak color or something between. And you have the brightness, go for zero brightness, black, or for 100% brightness. And that is, uh, yeah, no black at all. Um, so... Yeah, uh, sometimes I also use just a hard brush. So here, these are my brushes. Most of the time for painting, I use basic brushes. So these are the settings, basically everything off. And then you can, for example, start uh, coloring it. And yeah, what I do, so here you can see the separate layer. I paint on these uh, these separate layers for, uh, for stuff. But I wanted to focus on painting. So here is, um, yeah, this is basically how I start. So I make all these flat colors. And then I start uh, working from that. And later we can turn off the, the line art. And then you will get a painted character. So we're going for that uh, 3D look. I like to start with the big, bigger shapes first. So I select this layer of the body. Um, you can name them. I don't always name them, but you can. So select select this layer, and then I press uh, this alpha lock button. What does does that do? If I take a darker color, now I can paint in the shape. If I turn it off, we paint over it. So that's the benefit. So we can paint within this. So what I'm going to do is um, oh, is taking this layer and I take a soft brush, put the transfer on. So here on brush tip shape, get the hardness on zero, and then the transfer, pen pressure, uh, these settings. And uh, for the, the, the brush, I just use a regular circle. Sometimes I do use some textures or special brushes, but most of the time, 
just you uh, regular brushes. And another thing, yeah, I've made all these brushes uh, myself. They're also available in my store. But basically, these are all, uh, yeah, basic uh, basic brushes. So here we have this, uh, this turtle. And then uh, let's paint here. So here it is, uh, character. Let's shade this uh, here, this character. So like this. And then here. So like this here. And then now I start painting this character. And what I try to think about is. Um, so the light is coming from top right corner. So here, this part is a little bit inward. So I want to make it a little bit darker. And also here, this side. So I think maybe I can show that best first. Uh, if we would have, for example, a ball like this, and then uh, going to paint the ball, something like uh, this here so here and then um, so like this so practice maybe this first use this maybe as a guide to to paint this uh, character so this is the basic lighting and we're going to apply that to these uh, to, to these uh, to this character what i also like to do is make a selection of the nose going down around this here like this, and then uh, here, for the nose, like this here, here's a lighter color, like this, and then this here, make this a bit darker. And then deselect it and maybe paint a little bit so you have this nice transition. And then decide if you like these colors. I don't like this lighter color. So what I also usually do is shift at you a little bit to get a nice color, maybe it's a bit too yellow, maybe something like this. And I think I want to make this a little bit darker so see me how I use saturation and the brightness to make uh, dark colors. I like to avoid uh, using too much black. Uh, so here, let's also do this uh, eyelid like this. And painting is always a little bit between hard and soft uh, edges. Now, I don't want to make this video too long, so I don't go too much in depth about it. I did make a course about how to paint, where I go much more in depth with more examples and so on. But here I want to show a little bit of the basics, how I work. So here, maybe some oh, bouncing light. Always add some, uh, some depth. What you can do to check it is maybe, yeah, turn off these lines a little bit what i also sometimes do is um and yeah, just start uh, erasing these uh, lines a little bit maybe not 100 percent yet but just a little bit then i see i need to work on those edges at one point so i think i will so remove these ones then here, maybe here, like this. I always like to have a little bit of a sketch feel to it, so I don't necessarily have to erase everything. But I do see, I find some of the edges a little bit too hard. So what I would do is, so for example, zoom in a little bit, go to that layer, and then uh, 
take and uh, make the brush hard again. Uh, yeah. Then I uh, just uh, make these edges. Maybe turn off this here a little bit and make this a little bit more uh, straight, like this here. There's something you could um, avoid by really paying a little bit more attention uh, when you are making the separate layers. So what I think I actually did, I didn't plan to paint this character. So that's why I wasn't cleaning it up that much. I think this is fair because eventually we'll zoom out a lot. So that's uh, that's okay. And we can always come back uh, to this. So I think this is for now. It's uh, it's uh, fine. Let's move on to the uh, to the eyes again. Let's maybe make these eyes also a bit because these are really bubbly. Uh, so here, make these nice and round. Like this, and then here, and then also let's do this this size. Go down here. And here this line. This this looks fine for now. Um, let's shade these uh, these eyeballs a little bit. So make a bit dark color, not too much black, because then we get dirty. Maybe make it a bit reddish. And again, we can always change it. Maybe a bit bluish. So here, let's add a little bit of shading here. And again, there's a lot of information about painting, what kind of colors you use, for these things, and how the bouncing light works. For example, here this is a little bit bouncing light, the cheek to that eyeball. Usually it takes a little bit of the color of the, the area it bounces off. But sometimes I don't do that, it depends a little bit. And it doesn't, my goal isn't to be super realistic. It is to make a uh, cool, fun, uh, fun drawing. So, yeah, you know what? So let's delete this layer. And let's make these eyeballs. Let's make these uh, irises. So, here. Let's make these. Uh, uh, Let's make this really round. Like this. Let's also do that for this one. This, remove this part. And let's do this. Let's make this uh, light here. Then here. this and let's start uh, making a heart edge here here And then here, so we have this 
smart edge. So why is it lighter here than on the top? Because the iris is uh, or because our pupil is transparent so the length the light length lens on that part it's a little bit of a different uh, different topic but here you get this effect look at animation movies and you will, you will notice uh, notice that so here let's do this part let's get this uh, brush like this here and then it's nice and clean. This here, this brush. Like this. And maybe make that mouth also or this tongue. That's why it's useful to give it a name so you don't, so you, when you click it, you know for sure you're on the right one. Here is fine. It doesn't need to be perfect. I think it also has something when it's not perfect. So here I'm going up. Move this part. And here this part. Go down here. And then let's take a soft brush. And let's, uh, let's paint this part. Let's this a bit darker. Then uh, here, this part. This. Yeah, it's dark. And then here, this tongue. Here, here, and later we're going to add some uh, some details. But just for now, as a base, it's going quite nice. So if you look zoomed out, how you probably the, the size you would see. So I mean, we can start working a bit on the dots. So let's go to normal. Let's make them a little bit darker. This here. And yeah, just like let's take a hard brush. And let's make them a little bit cooler. We can always change the effect on how they are going to look. Now I'm going to focus on the on the shape. Here, and then this part and down here, and then here, this part, and then here, one, and here. I think later we're going to add some more. Uh, Details like this here. Yeah, it's starting to look like uh, 3D, right? Slowly. Let's go to these uh, to these lines, actually. Uh, let's make this really light and use this as a base. Still have the hard brush. Yeah. So now let's make this pupil. This here, it's not going to be perfect black. So like this here. And uh, maybe let's make this brush again a little bit soft. Let's use this blue, you can always change it when we don't like it. Yeah, I think that's nice. It's a little bit what we want. Later, we're going to change it more. Yeah, I think it's it's also good. It's not that perfect. I think I do like that. Sometimes I do make it perfect. Depends a little bit 
what am I working for? Sometimes you're working for commercial work and then you want to be super clean and, and so on. So here, I'm going to use a hard brush for these uh, parts. When I'm making long lines, I use my shoulder. Like this. And then uh, this here, also for the other side. Oh, uh, I don't like that part, but no sweat. I think I want to have a little bit of a corner there. See how that works, maybe a little bit. This. And then we have this here. And let's uh, make this here. Change that. Not sure yet. Maybe we make a spot of it. Of course, no hair. Maybe it's it's a spot, but I'll check that a bit later. For now, I like this. I always like to add eyebrows, or always it gets when it comes so weird and funny. But let's do it like this now. Maybe add a new layer here. And I always try to watch out with adding too much lines because I want to get a 3D feeling, but maybe here it can because of the shadow. Maybe there's a little bit of line here. Maybe you can add a little line here. Like this. Maybe some, because we now we can start adding in some details. Maybe some highlight here. And you know what? Let's also already start doing on the tongue. Here. Maybe some white. Now we can do the teeth. Maybe one line. Maybe here's another line. Maybe this is too much. Yeah, I think this is a little bit too much. Maybe what if we do it really light? Yeah, just those little details can make uh, a lot of difference, right? So maybe here. Uh, also on the nose, maybe we want in, instead of a dark line here, a line, light line. like this and also here maybe that works yeah and then maybe what i also sometimes do is not in a soft brush but a hard brush just painting some some line light this way yeah so here and then maybe There and over here, and maybe there's a little bit of darkness here, maybe a little bit here. Let's make this brush again with a sharp point. So, I do have all these different brushes, but sometimes I just like to. Just an on the fly. Maybe it's not even the quickest way, but it's how I like to work and, and, and think. You need to find something that, that fits with you. And even when that's not even the super fastest way to, to draw, but it works for you, it's it's fine, right? Try to find things that, that work for you. Because in the end of the day, you probably need to work hours and hours, you need to draw. So 
try to find something that uh, that fits your working uh, working style. Because so even when you a little bit slower, but you produce good stuff, that's also important, right? So here, zoom out, see how that looks. Maybe you can make some light here, light line. Like this here, maybe on the cheek, like this. Maybe there's a little bit of a dark line here. Maybe you can make this brush. What did I want to do? Maybe, yeah, add some shadow maybe here. It's really light. So it still looks friendly. So avoiding black and stuff, maybe a little bit here behind, maybe even a bit lower. We can always erase. Also on this side. So here. And let's add some, some light here in the eye. Also here. We'll take a soft brush. A little bit bigger, so maybe make a selection here through the whole eye and just add some light, maybe here a little bit harder. We can always erase, right? We can always test different stuff out, see what works, what doesn't. Maybe erase a little bit here, see how that looks. It's fine, maybe a little too much. So here, yeah, it's fine. And maybe we can, let's go to those uh, dots. Multiply, maybe a little, a little bit lighter. So use multiply to get some nice uh, effect. Uh, let's add some, uh, some small dots. Here, maybe the cheeks to make it extra cute. Here as well. This here, maybe you want to add some, where is it? Oh, there's some um, below it. We can make it on top, multiply, maybe. Again, we will erase these layer of. Uh, we'll make these layers a little bit lighter. Just some some detail. We're not going to super realistic, so erasing these lines a little bit. Maybe a layer on top. Maybe add some right here. And this is really dangerous because here we can go too much in depth and add too much realist, realism or details. So sometimes zoom out and check it if you like it. Um, yeah, probably I would already go to the uh, rest of the body to see if the overall, but this is basically how I paint my uh, characters. So yeah, I hope you like this video and give a good impression of how I uh, um, how I draw. So, um, um, yeah, that's uh, that's it. So, thanks everyone for watching, and I hope to see you uh, next time again next week. So, drop me in the comments what you uh, liked about the video, what you would like to see next uh, week. And you can help me out by producing more videos by subscribing and liking, of course. And um, yeah, if it goes well, I will keep making uh, videos. So uh, thanks, everyone. Thanks for watching. And see you next week. Bye-bye.